Hello, um, my name is Bryony and um, I attended Keeble College two years ago when I did my PGC, so I did my teacher training and I'm now a secondary school science teacher up at Cheney School, which is on the hill next to Oxford Brookes University. Um, but I still attend Keeble Chapel because I really love it. Um, there's kind of lots of different things about it that I love, but um, it's basically meant that I haven't changed um, where I go. Um, so in a typical week, I uh, help serve or attempt to help serve um, at the services um, on a Sunday. I say attempt because um, I'd never really done anything that involved helping with services um, before I came to Keeble. So the whole helping the um, helping Nevsky while he's doing the service is very, very new to me, um, but it didn't seem to matter. They were really friendly and I really enjoy doing it. Um, and kind of wearing the cotter and the cassock, um, I quite enjoy as well. Looks a bit weird when you first put it on, but I quite enjoy that as well. And then uh, one of the nicest parts is then we all go to um, drink Prosecco in the SCR together, and then we go up for dinner in the hall. So it's just a really, really nice evening. I find it's like a, it's a good way to like set the week up well and make sure that I'm not doing any work on Sunday evening. So I really enjoy that. I'm not quite sure what that will look like now we've got COVID, but um, it, it's it's a really, really lovely way to spend a Sunday evening. Um, and then I normally try to go to Compline, which is on a Thursday um, and it's kind of an evening service right at the end of the day. And it's just beautiful. Like it's basically the choir singing for half an hour. Um, and it's just wonderful to listen to. It's so relaxing and I love it. And there's an organ recital just before the service as well. So if you want to go to the organ recital as well, you can do. If you just want to go to Compton, you can also do that. But, um, you know, if I've had year eight winding me up or year 11 have sworn at me or even if it's been a good day, it's still really nice to just sit there for half an hour and just listen to this amazing music um, sung by people that you know. So that I really like. Um, and then I think the last way that I really love using the chapel is a kind of private reflection. Um, I think sometimes it's really nice to have somewhere quiet to go that's not your own room, but also isn't a library. Like you don't necessarily want to sit in a library. You also kind of don't want to be stuck in your own room and the, and the chapel is really nice. So I used to go and just sit there or pray or um, go in there and draw and paint. Like I know that the MCR had a really cool event where um, any member of the MCR could just go and they had like paints and pencils and you could just draw and paint and anything you liked that was in the chapel and it's just such a beautiful building that that was a really nice event. I know I spent a long time looking quite carefully at some of the mosaics and actually if you look at the um, end of the chapel and um, one of the mosaics with Jesus on the crucifix and the blood that's like running down his palms it looks a bit like streaky bacon if you look really carefully so um, yeah have a look at that. I think the other thing that I really love is um, the idea that my grandfather also went to the chapel. So he actually did a theology degree um, at Keeble years before me, me. So he did his in the 50s. And um, he didn't actually ever know that I'd been to Keeble because he died before I got um, an offer. But he gave me a picture um, a while back of um, the painting called Light of the World, which is the painting that's in Keeble Chapel because he really loves it. And so it's quite cool for me to be able to go and have a look at the painting and think, actually, this is a painting that my grandfather really loved. And imagine that he would have stood there as a student and looked at that painting. Um, and then I think the last thing, and by certainly not the least thing that I love about the chapel is um, Nevsky. Um, he's just really, he's really supportive. Um, he, you know, you can talk to him about anything, um, however personal, and, and he will just be really supportive. And I know that some people, when you talk to them, it's like their job and so they care because it's their job. But actually, I think Nevsky really, really does care about the student body. And so I think regardless of who you are, um, if you've got problems or you just want to chat something through, whether it's faith-based or just something going on in your life, um, I found that he's been a really good sounding board, like really helpful person to talk to, quite wise. And so I've really, really um, valued that as well. And so, yeah, that's my kind of um, overview of how I found the chapel. I love it. I really love the music that the choir sing. And I would encourage you, um, whether you have a faith or no faith, um, just to go along. It's not a pushy place at all. If you just want to enjoy the music, then you can do that. So I know that I would very often go to Compline with a friend of mine who's an atheist and he just loves the music. He loves the organ recital. 
loves the choir and so we would go and do that together so um please do come along if you want to um i think it's a really special place 